The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowitz. You'll notice for us here, we're quiet. We have clouds around, but we're in between storm systems. We've got one coastal low that is bringing rain towards Cape Hatteras, and we also have a cold front west. That's our next weather maker. That's what's going to bring us a better chance for some scattered showers and a couple of thunderstorms heading into tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. As we time it all out for you, future tracker shows that tonight we actually see a small decrease in cloud cover late, such that on Saturday morning we may see a little more sunshine around, but it's going to be rather short lived. By the afternoon, we're mainly cloudy out ahead of our next storm system. It looks like the uh, rain chances will start in the mountains anytime between about uh, 1 and 3 p.m. So if you're watching us in the Highlands, New River Valley, it's really from a close to lunchtime on where you're going to start to see the advent of uh, some passing showers and maybe even a stray storm. For Lynchburg and Southside, I think you're pretty much dry until closer to dinner time. By about 5, 6 o'clock, Lynchburg, Southside, you're going to start to see some scattered showers and thunderstorms by then. There's going to be more instability tomorrow east than there will be west. So the chance for thunderstorms is relatively small in the mountains. It gets a little bit bigger as you head east. That's again where we're going to be a little bit warmer and potentially even see a little more sunshine. Most of the rain should leave the region closer to midnight tomorrow night. And then as we look at the uh, Sunday forecast, high pressure moves back in. High pressure will dominate our weather as we head really late this weekend into much of next week. So next week is going to be marked with dry weather for the most part, with more sunshine to enjoy. And it's also going to be marked by cool mornings and warm afternoons. So hot this area of high pressure that will be situated over the Great Lakes on Monday likely is going to be our uh, uh, big weather feature as we head into next week. And that means, again, if you have any outdoor plans next week, you're looking pretty good most of the week. 69 right now in Lynchburg, also in Danville. 70 Roanoke, also in South Boston. Lower 60s as we speak in Hot Springs, but it is 66 in Blacksburg. Winds right now anywhere between about 3 and 9 miles per hour. There's been a little bit of a breeze around every now and again today. The winds are coming either out of the east or northeast right now, an indicator that we still have the wedge in play. So that easterly component of the wind goes away tomorrow. Look at the wind direction tomorrow comes more out of the west. So when we have that westerly wind tomorrow, that will spell the end of the wedge and that will spell the beginning of a nice warm up for us across the region. I don't think we're going to have a whole lot of wind tomorrow unless you're under a thunderstorm. And if you are, you could certainly have some gusty winds under those. But if you're storm free tomorrow and most of us will be, I don't think you're going to have a whole lot of wind to contend with on Saturday for tonight. It's still going to be uh, rather cloudy, but we're going to be dry. Overnight lows tonight between about 51 and 57. Now for the day tomorrow, going to start to see scattered showers and a couple of thunderstorms developing from lunchtime on. High temperatures tomorrow in the 70s and lower 80s. Your extended forecast, 80 is the high temperature on Saturday and on Sunday. Then we're in the upper 70s and lower 80s Monday through Friday of next week. It looks like really much of next week is pretty quiet with skies partly to mostly sunny. Maybe a little more sunshine early in the week and a little more cloud cover later in the week. But really the only chance for any we have here over the next seven days is tomorrow. Next week looks to be pretty quiet. OK, so we got things like graduation going mm -hmm. on tomorrow. Graduation parties Correct. following graduation. Mm -hmm. That little window of rain is kind of really in a bad spot. It's not the best for, for people who want to do those kinds of things. Yeah, but you need to know it's not a washout. The morning hours are going to be fine. Uh, the mountains will have the best chance frame between about one and five, and then the uh, chance frame moves a little further east, arriving between about four and eight. That's kind of what we're looking at as far as time frame of this stuff tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank, Thank you. you my pleasure.